Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm back again with another video and in today's video, we're just going to be doing a quick comparison. I thought like, yeah, it would be ideal for me to do that comparison on this tool machine. These are most powerful machines that I've ever used in my life and here is their comparison. So basically, I've got my daily driver here. This is the MacBook Pro 15. Uh, this is the late 2018, which I've been using since early 2019. And what we have in here is the recent machine that I got is the Dell XPS 159500, which is the machine that I've been using for the past two weeks. So I've got like a, I think two years experience with this and a two weeks experience with this. And I can tell you, this is more like twice what I have in here. Uh, but yeah, what's left is for us to talk about what do we get in here, what you can do here, what you can do and all those kind of things and stuff. So as you can see from the look, uh, the other one is wider than the other. You can tell which one it is. So both machine comes in with 15.6 inch display uh, with Dell XPS supporting 4K display. And then this one is not a 4K, but however it can handle a 4K video. And then this one comes in with the uh, facial recognition uh, sensors or infrared. And this one doesn't it just has a, like a normal 720p uh, webcam. And this also has a 720p uh, webcam. However, this is infrared for Windows Yellow, which means you're able to unlock it with your face, uh, which this one doesn't. They both have in a uh, fingerprint scanner. This one has a touch ID. This one is a fingerprint scanner. And I can say, yeah, in that level, they're both accurate. You can open, unlock them from any angle, which is something that's great. This one supports Windows HDR on display, whereas this one doesn't. However, it's just a high definition display, which is uh, support super retina display, which is great. The two can compete in that regard, but I think the brightness on this 4K display, which is in infinite edge, it's actually greater than this one, which means the Dell beats the Mac in that regard. Uh, and then this one also comes in with the trackpad, but the Mac trackpad, I would like to recommend it based on the functionality that you can do and the customization that you have on the Mac. The Mac has more functions that you can basically do than what uh, the Dell or Windows is offering, which is a winner for the Mac. And then the next thing that I want to talk about is actually the interface or the IOI, the IOS, which those are the user inter interface uh, input output ports. So basically, all these machines they have Type C Thunderbolt, which means you can actually charge it from any port. This one has a one Thunderbolt USB C here and two on the other side. It comes in built in uh, with a port for SD card as well as uh, uh, the audio jack. This has four USB C Thunderbolt and one audio jack for headphones, and which means this one is able to put in your micro card, micro SD, mm, just a memory, just a memory card for your video if you want to import or export videos or images into the laptop. Of course, you can still use that for data. This one is required double to do that. Let's look at the internal guards. And basically, so before we look at that, so this one comes in with a 130 watt charger, whereas this one comes in with 87 watt charger. So which means this one will charge faster than this. Um, however, the same type of charges here will basically charge in this one faster, which is great. This one, of course, it is gone beyond eight hours uh, a lot of times for me because I use this for pro and it's basically for work, which is great. So looking at internal specification, the Mac is 512 gig SSD storage, whereas this one is one terabyte SSD storage. So the Dell has more storage than, than the Mac. And then the Dell has 32 gig RAM, whereas this one has a 16 gig RAM, which means the Dell has more than the Mac. And then this runs Core i7 uh, 10th generation, whereas this one runs Core i7 8th generation, which means the Dell has more or faster processor than the, uh, than the Mac. And then of course the Dell runs Windows 10 Pro, and then whereas this one right, it's running Mac, Mac uh, what's this? <laughs> it's running uh, Big C, uh, Mac OS Big C, the latest, so I've already updated. And then this one's running 10H2, what's that? Two? H2 OS build, the latest OS build for those who are using Windows. This is what this one is running here. And basically, the Dell takes the price in terms of that, but however, then the of the day, the, it all depends on what you actually use the machine for. So, I've worked on this ma both machines and they are both recommendable. The only thing is the price, the price is the problem. This one goes in like for about 53,000 Rand when I, by the time I bought it, probably now it's, it's about 40 or less, plus minus somewhere there. Whereas this one goes for 64, that's the price that I paid for this machine, 
whole grain for, for the Dell XPS 15, which is the machine that is faster than this one. So that has been it, the comparison about this. I won't go much into what you can use each one of these for. I feel like that's a bit irrelevant if these two machines are from different families. So I'll leave that for you to decide the Mac or the Dell, which one you go for. Let me know in the comment section below and we will really delve with that. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.